Hello friends, I'm Mrs. Hegland. Thank you for joining me for today's story time. The story that we have today is called Drum Dream Girl. It's by Margarita Angle and Rafael Lopez did all of the pictures. Now in today's story, this girl right here, her name is Milo. This is a poem and it's based off of a true story about a girl who changed the way that her island thought about music. So this story is set in Cuba. Do you know where Cuba is on your Montessori map? I bet you do. Have one of your parents comment down below. Where on the Montessori map is Cuba? I'm interested to see if you know, and I'm very excited to share this book with you. So let's get started. Drum Dream Girl by Margarita Engel and Rafael Lopez. Look at all these beautiful colors. Drum Dream Girl. How one girl's courage changed music. On an island of music, in a city of drum beats, the drum dream girl dreamed. Of pounding tall conga drums, tapping small bongo drums, and boom, boom, booming with long, loud sticks on big, round, silvery, moon-bright timbales. But everyone on the island of music, in the city of drum beats, believed that only boys should play drums. Hmm. So the drum dream girl had to keep dreaming quiet, secret drum beat dreams. At outdoor cafes that looked like gardens, she heard drums played by men, but when she closed her eyes, she could hear her own imaginary music. And when she walked under wind-wavy palm trees in flower-bright parks, she heard the whir of parrot wings, the clack of woodpecker beaks, the dancing tap of her own footsteps, and the comforting pat of her own heartbeat. At carnivals, she listened to the rattling beat of towering dancers on stilts. and the dragon clang of costumed drummers wearing huge masks. At home, her fingertips fairly flew and rolled out their own dreamy rhythm on tables and chairs. And even though everyone kept reminding her that girls on the island of music had never played drums. The brave drum dream girl dared to play tall conga drums, small bongo drums, and big, round, silvery, moon-bright timbales. Her hands seemed to fly as they rippled, wrapped, and pounded all the rhythms of her drum dreams. Her big sisters were excited. They invited her to join their new all-girl dance band. But their father said, only boys should play drums.
so the drum dream girl had to keep dreaming and drumming alone until finally her father offered to find a music teacher who could decide if her drums deserved to be heard. The drum dream girl's teacher was amazed. The girl knew so much, but he taught her more and more and more. And she practiced and practiced and practiced. until the teacher agreed that she was ready to play her small bongo drums outdoors at a starlit cafe that looked like a garden. Where everyone who heard her dream bright music sang and danced and decided that girls should always be allowed to play drums and both girls and boys should feel free to dream. The end. What a wonderful story. I loved looking at the bright colors and hearing the drums play as we read the book together. What did you notice about the story? I would love to know what you think. Have your mommy and daddy comment down below. If you liked today's lesson, please join me for the next one. I'm going to teach you some Afro-Cuban drum patterns that you can do at home with me. Thank you for watching today's lesson. I hope you learned something new. Parents, I've left links and resources in the comment section down below for you. These are things that you can do at home and other videos that your child can watch. And my dear friends, I miss you so much and I love you and I hope that you're staying safe and I will see you soon. Bye!